Have you heard the headlines about another remyelination drug failing? Give me a couple of minutes and I'll explain why this doesn't mean we're doomed and why we need to calm down the hype of a remyelination. It drives me insane. We have these great expectations. It gets our hopes up. If you live with MS, you know this pattern. There's big stories about repairing myelin, reversing disability. The mouse walks again. You know, hope spikes. Then there's the human trials, and it's negative, and it's frustrating, and it's draining, and it just chips away at our hope. But what's actually happening? Let me explain. Here's a very quick reality check of a remyelination. It's repairing the insulation around the nerves. So like a wire, that's your insulation. Theory, don't forget, it's still theory. It, it, it's a great theory, but it's a theory. It can improve symptoms or even reverse some disability. Well, I think it's probably correct, but hey, it's a theory. But the human brains, they're messy. MS is complex and the repair is super hard to measure. So for example, recent trials, including one called Pipe 307, great names, haven't hit their main targets. That does not mean though that the biology is wrong. It, it may mean, I don't know, our tools are too blunt to measure small but real repair. We always think we're at the forefront, but in 20 years time, we'll look back. You know, so our tools aren't that good. We're treating too late possibly when the axons, the wire that the myelin goes around is already gone. And this is very peculiar to MS sometimes. We expect a pill to do everything. When rehab and re movement, they're part of the recovery biology. But here's the uncomfortable truth. Remyelination can't fix new damage. They shouldn't have happened. So right now, the best neuroprotection we have is actually early effective DMTs, plus the boring habits that, that no one wants to do, really. Sleep, mood, movement, vascular risk. It's all the stuff that falls on us, not on the pill. So yes, be disappointed when the trial fails. But don't pin your future on the next miracle headline. You know, tomorrow never comes. So failed trials, they still sharpen the science, the acts, you know, and they shape the next smarter study. But I would just urge you, please, stay interested in remyelination, but don't pause your life waiting for it. Protect the brain you've got today. Do what we know works that you've got today. And if the remyelination stories fire you up or, or even wear you up, tell me. And follow the MS Guide for grounded, hype-free MS science. Take care.